Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. The cold control thermostat is a critical part of many refrigerators. A faulty thermostat can prevent the compressor from starting or cause temperature control issues. In this episode, first we'll learn how it all works. Then we'll do some tests with a multimeter. Finally, we'll see how to install a new thermostat. This applies to most top freezer refrigerators, as well as some side-by-side -side and bottom freezer models. Now, if your model uses buttons instead of physical dials, then it likely has a temperature sensor and a control board. You can learn more in the video link below. All refrigerators work in the same basic way. When cooling is needed, the cold control sends power to the cooling circuit. The compressor pushes the refrigerant through the system. In the freezer, heat is extracted by the evaporator coils and is released through the condenser coils behind the refrigerator. This process continues until the set temperature is reached. Most refrigerators will have temperature controls for the fridge and the freezer. The thermostat monitors the temperature inside the fridge compartment. Adjusting this setting will change how much the compressor runs. The freezer temperature is changed by adjusting the airflow. When the damper closes, less air circulates into the fridge and more of the cold air will stay in the freezer. So it doesn't matter what the freezer dial is set to, the thermostat still maintains the same temperature inside the fridge. The sensing bulb contains fluid that expands when it heats up. This pushes the contacts closed, which connects power to the cooling circuit. When it cools, the contacts open and the compressor shuts off. When the dial is turned to a colder setting, it moves one of the contacts closer. This means that it takes less heat to close the contacts. In this case, the compressor runs more frequently, which lowers the fridge temperature. If the sensing bulb is damaged or if the contacts are worn out, then the refrigerator will not maintain the right temperature. Additionally, if the contacts are stuck closed, then the compressor will stay on and the fridge will be too cold. Now, if the thermostat fails completely, then no power is sent to the compressor and fans, which means the cooling cycle will not run. To begin, you might need a screwdriver or nut driver and a multimeter. Keep in mind there is some variation between models and not all refrigerators will have the same parts. You can enter your model number on the Amory Supply website to see a parts breakdown. This can be helpful to show you which parts are in your refrigerator and where they are located. First, slide the refrigerator out from the wall. When there is enough room, Unplug the cord to disconnect the power. In this case, you can work on the refrigerator in place with it still against the wall. To access the thermostat, you'll have to remove the control module, which is normally at the top of the fridge. Remove the screws and lower the control housing. It might be held in by plastic tabs, so don't force it or it might break. In some cases, you can disconnect the wires and remove the entire housing. Using a multimeter, components can be tested for continuity. A continuity test will determine if there is a continuous path for electricity to flow through. Without continuity, the component will not work, 
and will need to be replaced. Depending on the model, you might have to remove the dial first. Now lift up and disconnect the wires. Next, remove the thermostat and the sensing bulb. Set the multimeter to the ohms or resistance setting. With the dial turned to any cold setting, test between both terminals. You should get a continuity reading between 0 and 1 ohm at room temperature. You can test to see if the contacts are stuck closed. Set the thermostat to the warmest setting and place it in a working freezer. After 30 minutes, remove it and test. There should be no continuity and no reading on the multimeter. If it fails the test, then the thermostat is faulty and will need to be replaced. Take the new thermostat and align it into the housing. Now push the sensing bulb into the mount. Next, reconnect the wires. Now push the dial back into place. Align the control housing and reconnect the wire harness. Now tighten the mounting screws. Plug in the cord to reconnect the power. Now slide it back into place. Make sure to leave a couple of inches of space between the refrigerator and the wall. This will allow for proper airflow. Now test the refrigerator to see if it's working properly. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.